in the form of the sword. In Artifices, part two of Ficciones, the narrator recalls his encounter with the Englishman of La Colorada a man with a scar on his face. While the narrator travels in the northern provinces, a flood forces him to spend the night at the Englishman's villa. The Englishman turns out to actually be Irish. The narrator and his host eat supper and then have drinks. Drunk, the loosened up narrator asks him about his scar. His host tells the story. Now the first person narrator, the Irishman says in 1922, he and the other Catholics and Republicans, those seeking a free Irish Republic, were conspiring for independence. One night, a comrade, John Vincent Moon, joined them. Moon was 20 years old, thin and soft at the same time, reminding the Irishman of an invertebrate. He was a dedicated communist who read a lot and enjoyed arguing. The Irishman found him narrow-minded, for he reduced universal history to a sordid economic conflict. Moon and the Irishman went out in the night, arguing about communism. Passing some British soldiers, Moon became paralyzed by fear. The Irishman had to turn back and yank Moon out of the way. The soldiers fired at them and hit Moon. At the narrator's temporary lodgings, a general's manor house, the Irishman dressed Moon's superficially wounded shoulder. The next day, Moon was back to his old ways, reading and arguing. When the Irishman told him their colleagues to the south were expecting them to help in battle, Moon said he felt a shoulder spasm. The Irishman saw Moon's cowardice. For the next nine days, the narrator engaged in battle by day and returned to the house at night. Moon remained at the house, acting injured and offering opinions about military strategy. On the 10th day, the narrator's side lost. The unnamed city fell to the Blackentans, who fought against the Irish Republican Army to keep Ireland under English rule. Returning home, the narrator overheard Moon talking on the telephone, betraying his host in return for certain guarantees of personal safety. The narrator chased Moon through the house. With a cutlass shaped like a stellar half moon, the Irishman cut Moon's face, marking it. Then the Irishman breaks off the story. But Borges says he wants to know more. He says Moon fled to Brazil with his Judas money. And then asks, don't you see the mark of infamy written on my face? He says he told the story from the other man's perspective so Borges would listen. He himself is John Vincent Moon. Although many of the stories in Ficciones champion the philosophy of idealism, political idealists appear to be another matter altogether for Borges. Moon's cowardice gives the lie to his communist ideals of brotherhood and equality. Borges himself once criticized the form of the sword as being nothing but a trick story.